everyone and welcome to Bond Open Day. This is the menu intro scene where we have four levels to choose from and our controls dialog to help users find their way. I'm using a PS4 controller as we have gamepad support um, and also keyboard and mouse support for this desktop version of the application. Now Explore Bond is the main feature level of the game which has full enabled support for procedural lighting and weather environments and the procedural skies for example. So as the users start we're prompted uh, with the instruction to follow the trail to the MLC and find the studio. So users will enter the Bond campus from this direction and are greeted with a beautiful procedural sky with the aurora colours that we get at about 4.30 a.m. in the morning. And we'll have shadows and real-time lighting that we experience in the scene, including uh, weather systems and wind zones, which affect trees and grass and plants. So in the main yard scene, we'll collect our first pickup and we'll notice in the corner another dialogue calling us to come over this way with some enemies to avoid and more pickups. As we head down the thinking stairs, we can see more of the Bond campus and the textures that we're using in the environment, cobblestone floors. We've got the brick textures mapped into individual column sections and the gaps in between the feature tiles on the ground of the main courtyard with the brick patterns for the rest of the courtyard paths which are tiled onto the individual sized pavement sections. You can see as per the time of day settings we've got the sunrise coming up and all the shadows that we experience as a result of that. So let's continue collecting our pickups. These are optional but they lead the user around the scene in an interactive way and by following these we're going to get to our goal of finding the studio in the MLC. So we come across our feature fountain here with the same water texture that we're using from the environment nice hedges and plants and gardens to enjoy and we've got some assets in the scene to make it more like the real Bond campus. Into the MLC now collecting the rest of our pickups we can see the computer labs here towards our final destination of the studio complete our level, perform a celebration dance and we can play again or enter the menu. Let's try out the second level here, King of the Arch. So we start at a different time of day and we get the instruction here to climb the arch and defeat the panda by stealing his fruit. That must be where we need to go. So we head down this way uh, we come across these platforms to jump on. Now we'll notice that we've got a double jump feature which helps to navigate these platforms although they are set up to be able to jump up with single jumps. So as we get up on the roof we're a little bit closer to our target here and we've got a second set of stairs here taking us past the featured alias sign on the side of the building. So coming up onto the roof now we'll see the panda and he might not be happy to see us. Uh, he's not. Okay fifth time lucky with the panda. Let's let him shoot the bamboo. Keep it moving. We do not want to get shot by the panda again. Right, 
try and collect some of this fruit. Keep moving. destroyed the panda by stealing his fruit great success next objective explore the art see how far you can get reach the platform to claim your prize and by claim I mean claim so we can do these in single jumps it's gonna take a great double jump to reach the end guitar hero finish That was King of the Arch. Let's give Bond Cannonball Bingo a try. So we've got cannonballs going everywhere. The platforms are disappearing under our feet. We don't want to fall into the mist. Will we survive? Get ready to jump. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Okay, let's play the last level, the gauntlet. In this game, the players have to beat what's called the evil machine, which is going to attempt to knock us off our platform. As you can see, try again. Okay, here we go. I think we can get under the top one. Now we've got more jumps in the air activated for this level. I'm not sure how many. Hopefully enough to stay above these hammers. And that's it. Machine destroyed. Thanks for watching everyone.